died. Smoke all over the place. Thinking my uh, oak piston crown died. There the uh, hemlock head burned through. A little trouble starting it there. I got a funky governor set up here, so that was uh, wasn't letting it rev up. So combining old engines, new engines, you run into issues like that. But anyway, so that was the hemlock head combined with uh, an oak oak piston crown. So here's the oak piston crown from that uh, run. Uh, as you can see, it's it's actually not burned through. Uh, when I was disassembling it, I discovered that uh, I took this head bolt out. There's a burn path that leads out there. You can see the black. So that's why the smoke came out the top of the motor was uh, leaking around the one uh, head bolt there. I'll uh, see if I can get some close-ups of it there. You can see it right under there. And uh, the one on the bottom wasn't far behind it. It was headed the same direction, same thing in the corner there by the exhaust valve. The intake valve, it's still original wood color above it. Funny uh, swirling flow in the combustion chamber. But uh, around the spark plug, not doing too bad. Almost looks like a crack in there, but... Yeah, so it... It killed the hemlock head that time. I was going to give it another run with a just straight aluminum piston to kill it off there, but uh, I guess between uh, the run in this video and uh, the one where uh, it blew the oak conrod, combined run time will be somewhere around a minute, I guess. So that was enough to bore its way out through there and, and uh, out to the outside, and then, of course, it loses compression and the engine dies. But anyway, so... The hemlock head is dead.